Hi, I'm Marius from MWS Photography. I welcome back to another episode of Digital Photography Today, the show where you will learn how to become the master of your camera. Now, today's episode, we are going to look at high-speed video. Now, high-speed video is when you record a video at a very high frame rate, and then when you play it back, it plays back in slow motion. Now, when you look at a normal um, TV broadcast, that's usually recorded at about 29 or 25 frames a second, depending where you are in the world. So that means that for every second you watch on TV, you are actually looking at 25 or 29 still images that's played very fast and that gives you the movement that gives you your movie. And the same happens when you take a video on your camera. It's just recording a ton of images very fast into one second of video footage. Now when you shoot in high speed video, you actually record a lot more frames so say you record maybe one second on your camera, it plays back to five, six, or even 10 seconds, depending on the frame rate. And that's how you can see everything move in slow motion. Now, if you look at the Hollywood, uh, the Hollywood movies and you've got these big explosions and the guy running and he's shooting and you can see all the bullets in slow motion, like in the Matrix, obviously you're not gonna get the same results from a Canon like this, or a camera like this Canon PowerShot, a Canon PowerShot SX50 HS. You'll also notice your GoPros have also got this feature that you can record video at a much higher frame rate and when you play it back everything is playing back uh, more slow, slow or slowly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to set it on the Canon PowerShot. So if you've got a different camera just google it or look in the manual and see if you've got this function on your camera to record video at a higher uh, frame rate. So I'm going to show you now how it works on the camera. A few points just want to also um, make before we start shooting. There will be no sound when, re when we're recording this video because we are playing it back. If it's maybe one second of video, you're watching five or six or seven seconds, obviously there won't be any sound. Then it's also a bit limiting that you can't record for too long. You'll see at the back of the camera, there's a line showing you that you're recording, how long you'll be recording. And if you're hearing a dog in the background, that's my, my Dash and Lumen. That's gonna be running after a ball soon. That's what we're gonna record. And I'm gonna record with a different frame rate. You can actually see how it changes when you use the different frame rates. You'll also notice the higher the frame rate, the lower the quality of the video. Now this camera supports two modes of high speed video. It has 120 frame rate, uh, 120 frames per second, which actually looks good enough for me. I'm happy with it. But the 240 frames per second, which I'll, I'll show you, doesn't look that good. It's very pixelated. It's, it's basically recording at 320. Um, the resolution which is not that good the 120 frames per second is 640 so it's double that and that still looks good so I'll now first show you on the camera oh yeah another thing I almost forgot when you record make sure your lighting is even so if you look at the back here there's actually a little bit of sun shining through the trees that wasn't there when we started recording a few minutes ago so I'm trying to get the the grass here as evenly lit as possible because the camera once you you press the record button it will not allow me to zoom in and out. So I need to get the zoom right and it also won't change the lighting. So if this was maybe sun halfway through here and shade on this side, if I record like the video footage I'll show you now in the, in, in the corner of the screen, this was shot previously, I think the first attempt with this camera, you'll see that the moment Lumen runs into um, the shadow area, she becomes darker and the camera doesn't auto adjust to get the lighting right. So your lighting makes sure the scene is even and then also that you've got your zoom set for the way you want to shoot and then you just press the record button. So now let me first show you the settings on the camera, how to adjust it to get it to shoot in high speed um, video mode. When you look at the back of the camera, you'll see there's a dedicated video record button right here that works in all the modes but doesn't necessarily give you the option to shoot a high speed video. For that, if you go to this mode right here on the camera, you'll see that it'll enable a lot more options. So when you want to shoot high speed video, do not shoot in these modes, take it to that mode right there. Now, when you press the function set button right here, so if I press that, I'm gonna get this option right there at the top, it says standard. Now standard mode is for shooting normal videos. So if I go down to the bottom, by pressing this dial right at the bottom, it's going to take me to this option that shows me the image quality. So the first one is full HD. It's 1920 by 1080, that's full HD video. And this is normal shooting. And you'll already, if you look at the screen, you should see my dogs playing with a ball. Um, 
it's going to be very cool when you see the slow motion video in a few moments. Here's the um, 1280 by 720, that's your um, HD ready. And then the 640 by 480, that's your normal standard definition. Now when we want to shoot high speed video, I just take this icon to the top here. And instead of shooting in standard, you go to this one right here that says super slow motion movie. Shoot clips at high speed for slow motion playback. Once you've got that, you go down here to the bottom, and this is where you set the amount of frames you want to shoot at. So this one will shoot at 240 frames a second, and that one 120. And if you look here, it shoots 640 movies at 120 frames a second. That is the one I like to use. The quality is better on this, but I'll show you a segment on both of those. And 240 frames a second, which obviously is a lot more frames, it'll play back a lot slower, is shooting at 320, and that's your um, resolution, and it doesn't look good at all. So I don't really like shooting in that mode. Now if you look at the video there in the, in the back of the screen, you'll notice there's a bright section right there. I hope that's not going to mess up the high speed video too much, but, uh, too much, but we'll see. So I'm going to first take it out of, the, of this mode. I'm going to take it to the normal mode. And then I want to first shoot in HD, and then I'm going to shoot the high-speed video. And you can see the big difference when you're slowing down the action. Okay, now this is my Dash and Lumen's best friend in the world. Every morning early, I get woken, and I have to play with this for half an hour, or I have a very unhappy dog the entire day. Okay, now I've got the camera set to standard video. So what we're going to record is what we're going to see. So I can press record here, and then I just... Throw the ball, and there they go. Now with this, I can zoom into it if I want to. The standard mode allows you to zoom as well. And then, Lumen, get the ball, get the ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she goes crazy for this. Okay, there they go. Okay, now usually she bites the ball for like, 10 or 20 seconds to make sure the ball is dead <laughs> and then she brings it to me or she pokes it it's pretty cute she pokes the ball and then Lumen, get the ball okay I'm gonna stop this video now and I'm gonna go to the high speed video mode so I go to function choose the high speed video mode like I just showed you and then I'm gonna choose the 120 frames option now this is the one I like to use because it gives me Slow enough video, but good enough quality. So I'm happy with that. <coughs> now I don't have very long to record, so I need to make sure that the video is zoomed into as far as I want it to. I press record, and then I throw. And you'll notice when you look at this, it is a lot slower than what we just did. Okay, Lumen, get ball is Okay, I should hopefully get, just check the barking and see how slowly her mouth moves. <laughs> okay, and go for it. <laughs> right, so that is the 120 frames per second. So you can now see this video.
and you'll notice no sound because otherwise the dog would have gone like while she's running to get the sound effects slow as well but the quality is good and it's it's fun to play around with this and get some interesting stuff okay now I'm gonna go to the 240 frames a second now I won't recommend using this because the quality if you don't mind the quality it's fun it's really slow video but the quality just doesn't cut it for me okay press the record and then just look at the dogs barking and so much of this it's really slow okay i can't wait for her to chew the ball i've only got so much time to shoot the video Okay, there you go. Okay, so this is what the 240 frames a second looks like. And I think you'll agree with me it's a bit pixelated it doesn't look that good but there's so much you can do to play around with this maybe take a, b a balloon filled with water smash it and then see how the water comes out of it and you can see all the little detail I'm not going to play a few clips of just test the stuff I played around with like shooting an egg with a co2 gas gun and then you can see the egg blow up and see the, the, the all the stuff come out of the egg pretty fun times <laughs>
Now that's that for this week's episode. I hope you're gonna have fun with the slow motion video mode. And then next week's episode, you do not want to miss. We are gonna turn the camera to the shutter speed function and we are gonna do some very creative things with that. So it's a must see episode, do not forget it. Put it in your day planner or your reminder or whatever you got on your phone. Right, so if you have any photographic questions or camera related questions, then send it to askmwest at mwest.co.za and we will try to answer that in a future episode. Then if you have enjoyed this video or the previous videos and you just love the show, then click the subscribe button and get the episodes as they come out. It makes me glad. <laughs> okay. So that's all from my side for this week. And then I'll see you next week for the shutter speed video. Bye.